Hello fashion sewers. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to change your threads on your serger. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. As you can see my serger is threaded with three white threads. What I'm going to show you now is how to change your threads without unthreading your serger. The first thing to do is to cut your threads roughly about there. Three. Remove those and then replace them with the threads that you want. This is a cut thread and I'm going to exchange it with this thread. Just match them up roughly about even around my finger, pull it through, you're just doing a single knot. And if you wish I tend to just clip that about halfway and then you do the same with the other two. As you can see, hopefully, I've now attached my new threads to the old one, so you should have three knots. Right, the next thing you need to do, which is the most important um, in this method, is to start with your needle thread and pull that through manually. So I'll get my scissors and I will snip quite near to the eye of the needle and then pull that through as quickly as that cut my thread and then thread my needle. Hopefully I'll get it through in one go. You can use your finger or tweezers like I'm doing or needle thread that. Yes, I've got that through. And then just pull that towards the back and you are ready to go. And I'll just do a test sample for you. I'm now going to be demonstrating the stitch and the method in which the looper threads will now kind of automatically thread itself through as I stitch. Here we go. Don't go too fast, just go gently. You don't have to put your feet down. And you should start to see the looper threads come round and they make a clicking sound. As we go. Go gently. As you can see, they're starting to come through. Just come off there. Scissors, just cut that off, and you can now see that it's come through. I hope you found that video tutorial helpful. That is a quick and easy way to change your thread on your serger, and it can be done in under two minutes. Well, at least that's what I managed to do anyway. If you have any queries or questions, please put me in the comment box below, and I'll see you next time.